getting the Shure SM57 to sound like an SM7B. Can it be done? Probably not. This is going to be a short one, but I promise that the next one is going to contain a lot of content. Can we get the Shure SM57 to sound like the Shure SM7B using an EQ profile? Like I said, probably not. Let's find out. It's 50% nerdy stuff and it's coming right up. So, good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm Patrick Bateman. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified the minute new content drops. Cheers. This video is an experiment, both a microphone experiment and a video experiment. I'm going to be making this video incredibly quick and I'm just going to get to the meat and potatoes of the subject. We'll see how it's received because I'm also busy working on a massive video series and I need the extra time. So there's that. So here we go. Shure is a very old microphone and audio product company whose history I covered at length in my Shure SM7B video, which you can watch right here. It was my very first review video back when I was just a youngling. I filmed that video in 2022, which was Bullet Train and The Atom Project to go. The Shure SM7B is $400 US, and the Shure SM57 is $100. US. There are many people who can afford the SM57 but cannot afford the SM7B. Those people are likely curious if they can use just EQ to get that famous SM7B sound from their SM57. I've received a few emails asking me to do this very thing, so I'm doing it. If this is something that you're also curious about, then this video is for you too. The word on the street is that both mics use the same mic cartridge. Is that true? And if so, can we make the 57 sound like a 7B and save some money? That's the point of this little video, to allow people who can't afford a genuine Shure SM7B to get closer to that sound for their podcast or other productions. This experiment has been done many times by many people here on YouTube and also by people on other planets. It's a universal experiment. Sure. Both the SM57 and the SM7B use variations of the Unidyne 3 cartridge, but there are some pretty huge differences, hence the word variations. The differences are as follows. The SM7B's diaphragm is larger to allow for more of a low-end response, not sub-bass, just low-end warmth. There is much more space in the housing behind the SM7B, which also adds to the low-end response. There is an internal shock mount that reduces vibrations in the SM7B, and the SM7B is designed as a full-range microphone with a flatter response as opposed to a more selective frequency response in the SM57. So those are the differences on paper, and they sure as sharp sound different here, as you can probably tell. But there is another more concrete difference between them. The SM57 has a frequency response of 40 Hz to 15 kHz, and the SM7B has a frequency response of 50 Hz to 20 kHz. The SM7B also requires much more minimum gain to operate than the SM57. The SM7B requires at least 60 decibels of gain, while the SM57 requires 50 decibels of gain. In case you haven't noticed, I've been switching back and forth between both mics so that you can hear the natural differences. So, I went ahead and used FabFilter's Pro-Q3's EQ matching feature to see if I could get the SM57 to sound like the SM7B on spoken word alone. It's a great tool and I've used it on many occasions. Although I use FabFilter's Pro-Q3 to match the EQ settings, the curves can be applied with almost any parametric EQ plugin. Keep in mind that this was done with my own voice and it may not apply to your voice or instrument. Hell's bells, it may not work for you at all, but why not try? You're now hearing the results. What do you think? Do they sound more alike now? Let's do, uh, let's, let's go over here to the SM7B, and here we are with the SM7B without the, I'll explain that later, uh, with the pop screen on top, and this is the SM7B. So now let's go over to the SM57, and now we're on the SM57. Does this sound any more like it? Let's turn off the EQ right now. 
So this is the difference between both mics. Here we are, 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 here we are. Now let's switch it on. Switch it on, recorders. Excellent. SM7B and the SM57. SM7B and the SM57. Does it sound more alike? Kind of. Yes, it gets there. It gets in the ballpark. I, I realize that it will always be impossible to precisely match different mics, but we should be able to get into the ballpark since they're both dynamic mics with similar cartridges. You just don't want to knock around a 57 because it has no uh, shock mount internally. In order to keep them more similar, I've removed, like I said earlier, the pop filter on the SM7B and have positioned each cartridge about the same distance from my mouth, and they're both separated by, well, what's the difference between them? Oh, the distance measures. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just find my trusty old measuring tape here. <laughs> you know, this measuring tape was retrieved along with the Lingam Stone in 1935 in a small Indian village called Mayapur. I picked it up during a Kali Ma ceremony back in 84. <laughs> Anyway. So what do you think? Do they sound the same now? Did the SM57 get closer to the sound of the SM7B? I mean, I'm I mean, this is I mean, this is as good as it's going to get. I think they definitely sound more similar, and if you can't afford the SM7B, but you can or have already the SM57, then this is a great option for you. I've exported the Pro-Q3 EQ profile and have uploaded it for you to download and try for yourself. You can find the link in the description below. If you don't have a Pro-Q3 EQ plugin and use a different EQ plugin, I have also included a downloadable JPEG file with the settings so you can try to set your own parametric EQ to match. And that's it. That concludes this experiment. I hope this has helped you in some way to get a little closer to achieving that sound for less money. All right, time to put on an album. You like Hugh Lewis in the news? Bye now. And transmission. Oh, it's a nice focus job. Oh, well done, camera. Well done indeed. Watch these videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>